and welcome to Sports Day. I'm Lizzie greenwich -Hughes. Here are the headlines tonight. England are criticised for giving away wickets in the second Ashes test at Lords. Can the Manx missile take the outright record for the most Tour de France stage wins? And the girl on the dancing horse... So we're starting with cricket and day two of the second Ashes test where England's batters have been criticised for giving away unnecessary wickets after eventually bowling Australia all out for 416 before lunch. They'd made up good. of so near yet so far for the England opener, Ben Duckett. He was two runs away from a first Ashes century after a superb knock until his luck ran out. But despite missing out... In vain as Australia won by 43 runs, they had resumed needing another two. 257 runs, England, with six wickets in hand. Uh, the captain, Stokes, looked as though he would carry England. Now, some big tennis news. Nick Kyrgios has pulled out of Wimbledon on the eve of this year's tournament. Last year's runner-up there has torn a ligament in his wrist. Really, it's, you know, to, to be top seed, but uh, I think I, I deserve that, you know. I uh, worked really, really hard for, for that. It's really nice to see also the pictures in the halls and... Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's an amazing feeling and it actually feels like it was yes. Hello and thanks for joining us. It's only one place to start and that's at Wimbledon where rain affected day. Nevertheless, saw plenty of action on centre court and court one. The defending women's singles champion Elena Rybakina has begun the defence of her title. The Cacadas face an uphill battle in their Ashes series. The sinister hopes remains for the hosts after Australia won the first T20 by four wickets and took a 6-0 points lead in the multi-format series. England need nine points to regain the Ashes with things moving on to the Oval on Wednesday. And our reporter Joe Curry was cycling Britain's Adam Yates has kept his six second overall lead after stage four of the Tour de France. Uh, this was the second stage of uh, two flat stages in uh, the southwest of uh, the country before the first mountain stage in the Pyrenees on Wednesday. In what was a chaotic race, it was Belgium's Jasper Philipsen who out sprinted. Now, some history in England on Tuesday. Hannah Dingley has been named the caretaker head coach of Forest Green Rovers, becoming the first woman to take charge of a senior men's team in English football. And that is all the time we've got left for now. Uh, from me, Mark Edwards, and the rest uh, of the team here at the BBC Sports Centre. Bye-bye. That is just about it. A reminder of our top story. Australia going 2-0 up in the Ashes series against England after winning by 43 runs at Lords. Lots more on that on the BBC Sport website or your BBC Sport app. But from me and the rest of the team, goodbye for now.